beautiful people, it's Mallory here and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be discussing what it's really like to have a new puppy. Hi baby! <laughs> You're so cute! Before we get into the rest of the video today, I wanted to tell you guys how we came up with her name and why it is so special to us. So she is a mini Australian Shepherd, and I think they also are called American Shepherds. We actually got her name from the first Australian Shepherd that we owned. Her name was Trixie. She was such a great dog. She was so loyal and so fun and so caring for us that we really wanted her to live up to the expectation of one of the best dogs we ever had. So, of course, in honor of the amazing Trixie, we now have Trixie 2.0. Back in February of this year, my dad was scrolling on Facebook and saw these beautiful mini Australian Shepherd puppies who had just been born. She was born on January 22nd. We went to meet her in February, probably just two weeks after we saw her photo, and we loved her so much, and we had officially decided that we would be back to pick her up just a few weeks later. So we actually picked her up March 19th, a day after she turned eight weeks old, and she was the cutest little puppy. She always seems like she's so laid back. Nope. No pretty much the boss in here. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We actually found out that she had heterochromia, which means that she has multicolored eyes. In her case, she actually has one brown eye and one brown and blue eye. And then finally we got to bring her home. That was the actual best day ever. Everyone in this house was so happy. The other dog and cat were so excited. So, in this clip here, you're actually going to get to meet Daisy and Whiskey. Now, please don't come at me. I know that we did not introduce the puppy to the cat in the best way. That's what ended up happening. I am so sorry in advance for anyone who might feel offended. She runs the house. I'm sorry to say, but she just does. and. I don't know what else to do about it. If you have any tips on getting her to chill out, please send them my way. So when she got to meet Daisy and Whiskey for the first time, she was so sweet and she got up to play right away. I was actually really impressed with how well she kept up with Daisy so much because she killed it. She just did so good. She ran around with her and got used to the house and got used to the family so quick. So there's a few things that I wanted to talk to you guys about as far as like what she's really accomplished in her first month um, and things that we are still working on. Actually currently, I think she's about 15 weeks old. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for another update video on how she's doing and if she actually accomplishes the things that we are going to be working on that I will get into really quickly in this video. She actually caught onto the doorbell really quickly. And so it's a doggy doorbell. You put the bell either next to the back door or on the back door handle, and they ring it to let you know that they need to go out. Her problem with this is actually the fact that she rings it to go out, but she doesn't go potty. She just wants to play. So we're still potty training her, which is one of the things we need to work on. Um, but other than that, she's doing really good about letting us know when she wants to go outside, um, which I feel like is a key point to housebreaking. She also, in her first week, learned to sit, lay down, and roll over. So we've been working with her on that. She's been doing so amazing on that. Every time before I give her a treat, I tell her to sit, and she sits, and she's so smart. Aside from that, something else that we need to work on in that department is getting her to like settle down a little bit because she is really, really rowdy. I know she's a new puppy and that's totally fine. We are pushing through it. Something that was just really interesting about training her um, and teaching her new things was that she obviously struggled with stairs at first, right? I mean, I feel like all puppies are going to struggle with 
stairs or steps or whatever you may have in your house. She got up the steps really well. Getting down the steps was not so easy for her. But what I noticed is that she learned the stairs really fast um, in her first month. But after that, we have steps to get up onto the bed or furniture um, for another dog. And she actually struggled so much to learn the steps. So even after she had the stairs down, she was still struggling with the steps. We've gotten her past that now. So yay, that's a big accomplishment. She obviously is a freaking champion at tug of war and I don't wanna demonstrate that because I'm finally getting her to settle down a little bit. So when we took her on her first walk, I was really nervous that she was not gonna do well with leash biting um, or healing or anything like that. She did phenomenal. I was so proud of you. And she got tangled up a couple of times with Daisy, but other than that, she killed it and she did so good. She clearly knows her name very well. I'm very happy that, you know, we obviously told her a thousand times what her name was, but she's been responding to it very well. Yeah, Trixie, Trixie, Trixie. The next big accomplishment that I wanted to go over with you guys was crate training. She has done so well crate training. It only took her maybe three days to really get used to crate training. I'm trying to get her to want to go into the crate, you know, more, but once she is in the crate and everyone's asleep, she, you know, you don't hear her for the rest of the night. So we've all been able to sleep pretty well with her, except for the first three days. Other than that, she's been phenomenal. And of course, the car rides. So her first car ride with us, she was amazing. She did not cry. She did not whine. She didn't run around. She was so still, so patient. And it was like an hour drive home and she just did amazing. I held her the entire time. She had options, but she just preferred me to hold her and for her to enjoy the ride. Now the second, third, fourth car ride, she didn't do as well. She was getting older and way more vocal. She just didn't do as well the next few rides. Since then, she has gotten so much better at the car ride. She loves to pop her head outside the window, which we know most dogs love to do. But along with the accomplishments, we obviously have some room for improvement. We've been working on Fetch a lot lately. She is getting a lot better at it. And then the next one that we've started to kind of dabble with a little bit is Frisbee. We really want her to learn how to play Frisbee and how to catch a Frisbee, you know? So I think that would just be really, really good for her like endurance and her strength. You would think that you don't want most of your dogs to be like jumping up on the furniture, but in my house, like the dogs run the house. So I want her to be able to jump up on my bed. I want her to be able to jump up on the couch and cuddle with me. So those are a couple of things that we are working on because she can jump down, but she has not learned to jump up yet. We're still, you know, working on the strength in her back legs for that one, which I feel like Fetch and Frisbee are really going to help with strengthening those legs and getting her on the furniture to cuddle with us. Bring up two last things that we really truly need to double down and work with her on which is she loves to make a mess in the water her water bowl has became her pool and i think it's an australian shepherd thing because i've never had a dog that is obsessed with the water as much as she is she sits there and she will drink her water but she will also sit there and she will dig in her water bowl and splash around until the entire kitchen is a complete puddle. <laughs> so that is something that we're working with her on. And then of course, like begging. She is a huge beggar. She begs anytime we have food or anything that she wants. She's so spoiled. We are working on trying to get her more obedient, of course. She's only like three to four months right now. So she's still, you know, a new puppy. I think she's doing amazing those were just some of the things that i really wanted to discuss in today's video things that we needed to work on things that she's gotten down really quickly i really hope you guys like and enjoyed this video if you enjoyed the puppy vlogging that you got to see during this video please make sure you like and subscribe for the next puppy vlog or the puppy update that will be coming soon hopefully next month have you had a puppy before did you get a new puppy during quarantine 
What was it like with your first puppy? Please make sure you leave those comments down below and please feel free to give me all your tips and tricks on training your puppy for greatness. <laughs> Love you guys so much and have a great rest of your day.